Hey, Greg Silver here on the Greg Silver Music Channel. It's been kind of a while since doing any lesson stuff. Um, if you're watching this now, you know, we'll go through the COVID-19 crisis. Um, if you're watching in the future, we made out okay. We made it through. Uh, they call it COVID-19, but it's still, it's still coronavirus to me, babe. <laughs> Don't let it go, you know. Um, yeah, go. <laughs> but um, so hopefully gigs pick up. But anyways, so this is something I do as a warm-up on Upright. Um, I'd some, you know, I guess play electric and Upright. And sometimes things come in groups, like I'll have a, a stretch of electric gigs. It's not always a balance of upright and electric, and I'll have a stretch of upright. And I'm just going to kind of spend a little more time trying to brush up on either or. Um, so if I get a stretch of electric gigs, I can get to a lot of upright, and I got something coming up. It's like crunch time because of just schedule. Um, this is one it says I do just to warm up. So I, I'd say you tune up your bass, but this is to get you in tune with your bass. Okay? Um, so basically, the, it's a pattern. It's I call it chromatic, but it's semi-chromatic. And we're going to basically do is the pattern is going to be basically like um, one, two, four, starting on F on the first closed position string, a uh, note of each string. So, on, um, so basically, like this. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to check that, okay, against open strings or any intervals we can do. Okay. As you come up, as I did that, I come up, the last one is. Um, you know, A flat or G sharp, I'd be looking at up to B flat or A sharp. And then you do a shift. I just go things flats, but that's just me. Um, then you shift, okay, your first finger to B flat or A sharp, B flat. I'll call it B flat. So, and then you do the pattern again, going descending in our pattern. And then now when you get here, you do the same shift going up. And so on, you'd go up the neck. But the key is you want to check against open strings or any intervals to see if you're in tune. Because, um, like, you know, as you know, you can be in tune with yourself on the bass, but, if, you know, if you play with a band or you check against a tuner or just relative pitch, um, you'd be like, I'm out of tune. <laughs> I mean, they're all in tune together, but they're all pitch wise going um, off. So we'll begin to do some of this. And some of, you know, if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. That's why we're doing it. Um, go back if you hit a note, something out of tune. Go back, which I probably will. <laughs> and um, so here we go. So basically F. Now on F, I could probably check it. There's different intervals. I'll do third, but I want to do a higher one so I can hear better. Okay, check it against D. F sharp. I'm just gonna leave it as F sharp. G against G. Okay. B e flat. I could do a third. B. Check it against my E. Then I check my C against the G, you know, fifth. Now I get on um, basically E flat or D sharp. E. F. Okay, I guess we get it against G. Second. G sharp against E. Major. A can go against D. Or against A. B flat. You could check that maybe you can see. Try to. Why was it? And then you basically do your shift. You'd shift now. But you can stay on the bass. <laughs> okay? And you check, you know, that could do it. Maybe get your E. Your B. Check it against, you know, your E. Okay? Your C. Minor third. Against your G. So any, as you go up and do that pattern, check against open strings for any kind of interval or anything that you can hear, like the harmony, to see if, like, hey, I'm in tune. And go up the neck and do the whole thing. You can even do it descending if you want. Same kind of thing descending. But just keep that pattern going. And maybe you shift. Okay. So up. Up. Shift. Down. Shift. Up. Shift. And continue up the neck. I hope you get something out of this. Take care of yourself. Keep plugging away. Have a great day and take care of each other. Thank you.